Before we get into this video, boys and girls, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and please like the video. It will help your boy out a ton. And if you could become a member, that would also be uh, very, very helpful to me. But with that being said, let's hop right into the video. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Paradox Agni. Today, we are going to be going over the Paradox Agony method in Vault of Glass Raid. Uh, I have been playing Destiny once again for the past couple of days, maybe three days, and I decided to come up with this method because I was not dealing a lot of damage. I don't play Destiny as often as somebody should, maybe two weeks playtime, possibly. Uh, so basically, I ended up coming up with this method because I don't have any exotics that I need to be able to do high DPS. I don't have a lot of the mods, so this is mainly for the people who cannot deal damage because it will make you way more helpful. But once again, actually it is also good for everybody. This method is not a cheese, so you have to know how to do the raid. But basically what this allows you to do is to basically get two more of the people who go through the portal, whether it's Venus or Mars, to basically come out six seconds earlier. Basically, if people struggling, they could help clear ads and also be in middle, maybe even if it's your warlock, to pop well in the center uh, earlier so that you can basically deal, deal more damage. So just watch this clip here, you're gonna see what we're doing. I basically have Xenophage, you need Xenophage or something that kills oracles quick. And literally right after we do the first wave, my people's calling out on the other side, I walk them through and I basically cleanse them. So what this is allowing us to do is those extra six seconds that it takes, they are helping deal damage. So right here, they're calling it out. I'm using Xenophage because it one shots the oracles and I'm over here doing it on my own. So basically you do not need three people to do these. I don't know why they even, have three people doing oracles so basically i'm using xenophage i am getting rid of the oracles on my own so as you can see the buff over on the left which is times vengeance once that buff pops up then you already know you are able to deal damage uh this was actually a really bad run because i deleted my good run or i couldn't record a good run because i was out of space on my xbox so basically right now uh, we are dealing low damage, but I guarantee you if we, there was a better squad, uh, a symbol on some Avengers stuff, Atheon would be almost dead. So once again, this was actually bad damage, but because we did actually do this, we dealt more damage than we initially would have. So it basically helped a lot. So once again, you want to make sure that you have Xenophage. Um, we have callers up at the top towards the middle. I normally run tether because it helps because now I'm just gonna throw out some tips uh, I normally have tether to basically shoot one tether over by whatever portal needs to be open uh, I'm not sure if in this run I actually had to hold the portal open but what you can do is have one person work literally it only takes one person to open up the portal just throw an invisnate on yourself if you're a hunter stand on top of there do the roll from your uh, dodge ability to get it back and then pop it as well uh, pop your next smoke and then you can shoot tethers at the the exploders to basically stop them from exploding so once again what you see me doing is I'm taking the relic I always have them help destroy the big bitch in the middle always don't just think that your relic runner is just gonna take them out on its own sometimes they cannot so I'm helping them once again get the first round of oracles I am telling them uh, to basically meet me in front of the portal now. Here's the here's the thing Sometimes it can be a bit glitchy because you have to make sure you are holding relic up and make sure it is connected to the gate So that when they run through the gate, they do not uh, Touch any sort of you know the, the the void or the planet that you're on so Venus I'm making sure literally they could run straight out the relic into the portal So my relic is actually my relic aura is actually touching the portal because sometimes you'll basically get a glitch where they would go outside and they will not be cleansed. So basically what's happening here is if you're going outside the portal, if they're meeting us over to the outside of the portal, basically they're still able to deal damage and I'm able to come right out. I'm only dealing like 40k. This was really getting me angry because my Xbox was making me, rather than do supercharge, jump off the cliff. So we have people here, make sure to look for detainment. Uh, as a relic, I try to stay close enough to where I can detain them. 
but far enough or so that I could break detainment, but far enough so that I am not uh, basically getting detained. So once again, you see we, it's still really bad damage because our squad, like this is literally like our, our, our third try. They were brand new people. I was just showing them how to do this. Uh, so basically that was still pretty bad damage. So right now the clip is playing over. I'm probably gonna hop off of here. Once again, if y'all want to, the video is at the 10 minute mark. Just watch the gameplay over again and you can go back to see the explanation. But once again, I'm kind of slow, so I'm actually going to try to one more time just basically explain it to where certain people can understand. You must know how to do the read. Left portal is Mars, right portal is uh, Venus. Now, one big thing that I'm actually going to point out is I play with my friend. His name is Asian. Okay, so if you know who you want to call, if you're teammates want to not go through the portal if they want to stay in they should jump off of the cliff before the encounter starts don't worry it does not cost a revive after they jump off the cliff you can start the encounter and they will be able to revive themselves but they only must revive themselves after atheon has teleported us as you can see when we started our teammates were white so after we are teleported they can come back to life because I already know who I'm cool with on the outside, who I actually want to be able to call because I'm used to his callouts. Because callouts are different, uh, different with different raid groups, and I am also going to be speaking on callouts for a second, or maybe some things as well. Once again, to basically help people. Uh, so basically, after he teleports you, they get to respawn. You have one on portal, and a huge thing people do not know. After the portal is open, I don't know how people don't know this, you do not have to stand on a portal anymore. Once you see the blue light in the middle on the outside, you don't have to stand on a portal. You get back by the guy who's calling, which should be up top mid, which you have already seen in this video or probably going to see in this video. And y'all could stand near him in the back or up top with him and basically kill the ads. So when you come out, it's DPS and that's pretty much how that happens. Uh, and basically for calling, I really have to say this, yeah, I'm not a Destiny player, but please, y'all, guys, do not make calling uh, the oracles too hard. You will have people who will say, front right, back left, back middle. If you have one to the right, in the left, in the middle, just make it easy on everybody and say, right, left, middle. And another thing, because a lot of people also mess up on, first off, clear comms. <laughs> Obviously, everybody knows that. But you guys want to make sure that you only say the first two oracles. Somebody tried to argue with me with this earlier, talking about it makes it harder for the people who are on the inside shooting oracle. It's not harder. If you call right and then left, they should know to take out right and then left and you know i'm slow and i know to shoot the last one that's there so guys when you get into these raids with people just try to call the first two keep calls as short and sweet as possible and here's a thing that i do because a lot of people don't do it and it will help a lot and it actually had my back inside of the raid okay let's do this back right then front right okay because you'll have somebody go they'll, they'll probably say something along the lines of uh front then they will say right and rather than to say front then right which first off is not even a good call they will say front right left okay so what the call is actually supposed to be is middle then right then left and that's if you're doing three because people make it way harder than it's got to be. And guys, please make sure that y'all do not shoot the Oracle. So once again, that was my little uh, two cents. And also that was uh, the Paradox Agony method on doing uh, Atheon. Or you could call it the Paradox Agony Strat. Uh, you guys, there's another cheese out. I don't know if y'all know. There's another cheese out where you can actually kill Atheon. Not going to tell you how to do that uh, before the encounter starts or get him low. 
because I'm not a cheeser. If I do cheese, I'll probably have a disclaimer, but that is up to y'all to go ahead and find that. But if you want to do it legit, but make it a little bit easier in a way that we know is not going to get patched, I would recommend doing this way. It will help. Once again, it is the paradox agony method. Just let boys know because I've been using this. Yes, I actually created this and made it up. And of course, it has my name because somebody else is probably going to take it. So with that being said, I hope you boys enjoy the video. I was meaning to drop this literally like two days ago, three days ago when I first actually started doing this raid and got back on Destiny or when I first started playing Destiny. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like. Please drop a subscribe because it really means a lot. Uh, if you can become a member of the channel, I'm going to try to do more content. Please do because your boy is down bad right now and needs support in the best type of ways. It's been your boy, Paradox Agony. Later.